okay guys so before we get started make sure you have all of your materials with you uh, as you can see I have these two color yarns here that I'll be using so for the actual body of the um, headband I'll be using these uh, color it's called natural it's a medium weight number four recommended crochet hook is number five hundred percent acrylic uh, seven ounces or a hundred uh, and ninety seven grams or if you go by yards it's 140 yards long and this is from Bernard super value okay so this is what I'm making the headband with and because this is a, a Valentine's Day theme uh, project we're going to accessorize it by making a heart out of this color uh, to add on to the headband and as you can see this one is called berry all the information in this yarn is exactly the same except for the color okay um, I will be using this five millimeter crochet hook which is also what is recommended I will use a scissors as well as a darning needle okay so let's get started okay so to go ahead and get this project started we're going to start with a slip knot okay and then we're going to start with a foundation chain of 15 so one, two, three. So that's our chain 15. Now this is going to be the width of the headband. So if you're looking, so as you can see here, this is how wide the headband is going to be based on the chain. So it goes from here to here. Okay, so if you're looking for your headband to be a little bit wider, then you should do more chains. Okay, if you're looking for it to be a little bit smaller, if maybe you're making it for a child, then make these chains less than 15. Okay, now that you have your foundation chain, you are going to start to do a single crochet along this chain, and we're going to work with the back bumps of the chain. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start by doing a single crochet chain. A single crochet not in the first chain here but in the second one on the back of it so we're going to go on and do our single crochet in the back of this one here okay so that's our first single crochet and then we're going to move on to the next one and do another single crochet okay and then in the next one and so on and so forth so you're going to have 14 um, single crochet stitches when you get to the end of this chain so go ahead and do so when you get to the end here come back and i'll show you how to turn and go on to the second row of the project see you in a bit all right so this is the end of our first row so i have 14 uh, stitches all together here so make sure you have the right number of stitches just in case you skipped one or you doubled in in one of the stitches to make it more but make sure you have about 14 if you did 15 chains okay and now to start the second row you're going to chain one turn your work and in this second row which is going to be a repeat row you're going to do a single crochet but you're going to go through the back loop only so as you can see here we have these V's that go along the top of the row we're going to go into this back one and not the front only and not both like that okay so we're going to work in the back of these uh, stitches so you're going to go ahead and do your first single crochet right after the chain one there's a stitch there you're going to do your single crochet and you're going to move on to the next stitch and do your single crochet and then again into the next and do your single crochet and you're going to do this all along this row and this is pretty much your second row here that you will use to repeat until you get the length of your headband so I'll just quickly take you to the end of this row before I let you guys build up your work and the reason I want to take you guys to the end of this row is because I do do something a little bit different at the end of each row when I do work in the back loops only and um, if you have an idea what I'm talking about is probably because you have seen my videos before uh, but if you're new then I'm doing this to be able to show you what I'm talking about so we're just at the end here so I have done my 13 single crochets here for my 14th one instead of going through the back of it like we've been doing the other stitches here I am going to go through both 
just to create a straight for me it creates a, a straight edge here okay so you will do that every time you go to the end of this stitch instead of going through the back only you're going to go through both before you go ahead and do a chain one and turn okay and then when you turn you're going to go ahead and start with your single crochet right um, in the stitch right after this chain one there and then go ahead and build up your work by repeating these rows pretty much until you have the length okay guys so this is the size that i'm gonna stop at did uh, 66 rows total and this is how it looks like so you can see here by going through the back loop and doing our single crochet we create this ribble effect that is i love 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 this is my favorite stitch okay so um this is pretty much it so you will have either the same number of rows as i do or different depending on the size of the headband that you're making but this is pretty much how our headband is going to be okay so we're going to go ahead and cut this yarn let's say somewhere here just so we have a long strand to work with because we're gonna need to close the gap there so i'll just cut my yarn right there okay and then we're going to line up this um this headband so we can make sure we shut it up so like i said we did 15 uh, chains as the foundation chain and then we would end up with 14 stitches so if you line them up really nicely you should be able to have 14 that you can kind of pair up and uh, sew it across and shut okay first thing I should do here is to just pull this and have it shut so I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to pull this through like that and then pull it so it's completely closed there like that okay so that's just one step before you go ahead and put your yarn in the darning needle hole here and then we'll go ahead and do that okay so and then we're going to go ahead and pretty much sew these here so what i'll do if you just watch closely here i am going to go ahead and take my weaving needle i'm going to go in there like that and then on the other side I'm going to do the same thing so just all the way at the beginning of the edge here we're going to do that do that okay and pull it nice and tight and then we're going to go in the next stitch here just in the second one here we're going to do the same thing where we just kind of go through that like that and we just kind of guarantee that we're going to have a nice even spot here and then for the rest of it we're going to go on this side here as you can see this is the stitches here we're going to go through both stitches and then on the opposite side we're going through to go through just the back one like this so the furthest stitch from you instead of both like this so this would be if you're going through both and this is if you're going through just the back one okay so we're going to do both for the stitches closest to you which is this side then when you get to the other side you go through the back one only okay so you're going through a total of three stitches all together okay oops i just want to make sure i don't overlap this here there you go and you're going to pretty much do this until you get to the end here so you're weaving your or you're closing in the gap here to be able to create the actual headband and by the way this is the same thing you would do when you're doing um, a beanie or a hat you would be following this exact same process okay so i'll let you guys go ahead and weave in oh sorry i keep saying weave i'll let you guys go ahead and close in this gap here until you get to the end when you get to here come back and i'll show you guys what to do next for this project okay see you in a bit okay guys so i'm all the way at the end here so i just did my last stitch right here and then for the final one we're just going to make sure we do it at the very end of the uh the work here so that we can have it all the way to the end just like that okay and as you can see before you cut off the the strand make sure you just kind of pull your work like this to make sure you can you know like it's nicely um sewed here so as you can see this is actually where we sewed in but it doesn't look like it at all 
it looks just like one of these ripples that we have here okay so that's what you're looking to do and you can pull it to make sure it's not gap in some spots and uh, straight in some so if you look at this it doesn't like you don't see anything at all so then you go ahead and cut the yarn here so i'll go and cut that here and then put my darning needle and my scissors away or scissors we will probably need to bring this back here so um what i do from this point on here is i'm going to bring both of these strings to the other side of my work well the the inside of this work just so i can have tied in a knot and then just cut off the um the excess uh, yarn there so i'm just gonna pull that there like that and then again and maybe one more time and then i'm going to snip the excess yarn off just like that okay there you go so this is how it looks like here so this is your headband so if you are to not want to do anything with it after this yeah then you're done then this is your headband you put it on you're good to go it's wide enough for me that i have my ears covered um, so depending on what you're looking to wear it for, whether it's as an accessory to your hair or to cover you from the cold, if you're looking for something to cover you from the cold, you would make it a little bit bigger, but this one is going to be more like nice and an accessory accessory. Um, so this is how it looks like. So you go ahead and set this to the side so we can do the heart that we're going to put onto this uh, headband because it is Valentine's day theme after all. Okay. So let's get the next yarn and get it started. Okay guys, so to get the heart started, we're going to go ahead and start with a slip knot. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to do a chain of nine. So one, two. So that's our chain nine there. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the, uh, the headband, where we're going to do single crochets, but in the back of this uh, chain, okay? So we're going to do a single crochet okay so I'm just gonna make sure I have it nice here so we're going to do a single crochet in each of these eight um, eight chains eight stitches okay until we get to the end So that is our eighth one so this should be eight stitches all together here okay and then we're going to chain one turn our work and then we're going to go ahead and repeat that so one. and this time we're not going through the back loop only to do our single crochets we're actually going through both so this is just a regular single crochet stitch without going into the back loop only okay and I'm going to show you to this end here and then I'll let you do the rest of the single crochet stitches or rows before we can move on to the next so again this one I'm going to go make sure I go into the very last stitch here and keep in mind I'm going through both stitches like that so that's row, num row number two I'm probably gonna do about six rows or so before I can stop and then start forming the actual heart Okay, so I'm gonna do four more rows and then come back to show you how to do the rest of it. So um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so um, I actually ended up doing eight rows here because six was just about here and I thought that was too small. So I just added two more rows to make it eight. So this is eight rows here. And so if you did six, like I said, go, go ahead and add two more. Or you can keep it at the six if you want if you like that size it's gonna be a little bit smaller but if you like that size then keep it there but I end up doing eight rows together all, all together here this is why I have that perfect uh, square here okay all right so to go on to the next uh, step we're going to go ahead and create our heart and to do so um, so with doing eight rows I have a perfect four and four so as you can see this is two three four two three four and this line in the middle here is my middle okay so i'm going to go ahead and do a treble crochet in the middle there so just the the last space there which is right in the middle of the eight stitches or of the eight rows okay and i'm going to do my treble crochet there 
and I'm going to go ahead and do nine more into that exact same space. So as you can see, the more stitches you put into that gap, the more the space is going to be wider. It's going to make room for it. So don't worry about it being too small of a space. Just go ahead and do your 10 treble crochets into that exact same space. So as you can see, I have four. I'm going to go ahead and do six more. And then I will show you guys how to move on to the next uh, step of this project. Okay guys, so this is how my uh, 10 treble crochets in this middle gap looks like. So as you can see, that is how it looks like. Let me just see if I can fix the focus here a little bit. Okay, maybe it's not gonna work that well but anyways this is pretty much how it looks like this is 10 treble crochets in that same spot and then to move on to the next uh, part of it we're going to do a single crochet right there right in this gap here we're going to do a single crochet a, a slip stitch sorry about that so in this gap here we're going to do a slip stitch just right in the corner of our project here just right there we're going to do a slip stitch like that okay so as you can see it has like this formed uh, section on top like this but then we're going to turn it like this and then again we're going to count halfway up this way halfway that way so one two three four five one two three four five so in the fifth spot here we're going to do um, 10 more treble crochets in this space Okay, so that's one. Oopsie. And that's two. And you're going to go ahead and put eight more into this same gap here. And when you have eight, come back and I'll show you how to move on to the next. Part. Okay, so this is your next 10 uh, treble crochets in this gap and you're just going to pull it around a little bit just to make sure you adjust all the stitches into the space into the place a little bit like that so as you can see we already have a heart formed here and so the final step is going to be to slip stitch just in the corner of this uh, square here so the next corner is right here so we're just going to slip stitch and then that's it so this is your heart as you can see and so you have it ready to put it uh, to put it in on your uh, headband. So the first thing is we're going to cut that strand right there. Okay. And then we're going to uh, just slip stitch here to make sure we secure it like that. And then we're going to do a knot here to close it off. And then we can cut the excess yarn off. Okay, just like that and then we can go ahead and cut these off okay there you go so and before you put it in on your headband just play with it a little bit and as you can see that's a nice perfect heart here okay so we're going to go ahead and grab our headband and this is it here so what I do just to play it safe is you can see this is where I connected the project together so I'm going to flip it to this side like this so I can put it the heart is gonna go right there like this so as you can see the heart is just the perfect size to fit on this but like I said if you made your band a little bit wider you would have to make your heart a little bit bigger as well or if you made your band a little bit narrower then you'll have to make a smaller heart otherwise it will not fit so I made this just so it fits right on the size of the headband that I have I'm just going to change the, um, the background here because as you can see with the white is really glary. Um, so I'm going to bring a different color for the mat so we can see it and we're going to move on to the next step. So we have our red background here just so we can see the contrasting colors properly. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our darning needle and we're going to bring in some of the red. Okay. And we're going to cut some of that so we can use it to sew in the hat, uh, the heart to the headband. Okay. We're just going to cut it somewhere right here. Okay. 
and then we're going to go ahead and just put it in the loop there and so like i said so we're going to and you can put the heart anywhere you can put it in the middle if you want it to be right in the middle of your forehead you can put it here but the good thing without putting it anywhere really is the headband it can move so if you have it sewed here you can always just wear your headband like this the headband there's no uh, wrong side and right side so if you sew it like i am going to do which is right to the side here that is perfect and you can wear it like this so you can kind of just uh, turn the the headband around to be able to wear it in a different way but anyways so we're gonna start by sewing it right in the middle which is right in, in the 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 top of the heart right here the part that comes in that curves in and we're just going to put our oops, we're going to go on the other side and come in like this okay and then we're gonna pull and as you can see here you have some string hanging we're going to leave that like that and don't pull it too hard just leave the the yarn um, hanging like that and then on this side here we're going to go in to the other side pull okay and then come back in but you're coming in as you can see there are these stitches here and I'm pretty much going between the stitches so we're going to bring that back like this and to make this faster what I will do is I will just pretty much go like this and you don't have to do this you could just sew this nice and slow but I'm going to do it like that that way I can take a couple of uh, steps ahead like that okay and make sure your heart is always straight so that it's not gonna look crooked And now that I'm on top like that, we're going to just bring this yarn back to the opposite side, pull it, okay, and then we're going to cut it off, okay. So we're going to cut this off here, put our darning needle away, and then we're going to nod the two strands of the red color on the inside of the band. And I'm going to do three knots just to make sure it's nice and uh, secure. You can also use the technique of weaving in your edge uh, ends here just for extra security but i'd like to do it like this okay all right so let's look at what we have done here so as you can see this is pretty much your headband okay this is a uh, valentine's theme your headband can be worn like this it can be worn in the corner like this of your the head the side of your temple um you can wear it in the middle or you can even put these all the way to the back not that most people will probably wear like that but like this is pretty much it here okay so i will show you quickly two more that i made in different colors and then i'll finish off the video so as you can see this is one that i made in this dark gray charcoal color and i did a white heart with it and then i did this in a red a little bit of a wine red and i did a white heart as well so this is the one I did with you guys, and these are the ones that I did uh, offline. And these are the hearts that I have, the headbands with the hearts that I made for Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again for, um, for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when I'm posting new videos. And comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao, ciao.